Welcome to the Farming Simulator Tournament Client Tutorial. This video will give you a quick overview of the game mode. A match consists of two teams with three players each. As soon as the lobby is full, the game starts with the pick and ban phase. Here, vehicles and machines with specific characteristics and different advantages can be chosen. First, the two team captains take turns banning vehicles that are unavailable to either team during the course of the game. In the pick phase, the captains can select a powerful team perk and optionally choose to reserve a harvester and a baler. Following this, all players in turn choose their own tractor and individual player perk. A small challenge during the pick and ban phase is the limited time and points a team can spend. Choose wisely so that you have enough points for each player on your team. For more details on vehicles and perks, check out our stat sheet at fsl.giants-software.com. Before you start into the game, let's take a quick look at the view. The map offers for both teams hilly terrain, two separate fields, and a barn and a silo on each side. You can get to your barn via three dynamic draw bridges. But be careful, crossing them might be difficult as they are tied to your opposing team's bridges. You can, however, take the safer route over the stone bridge instead. As soon as the game starts, each player sits in their selected tractor in the starting area. Make sure you have a quick look around as random combines and balers spawn on the pods around the starting area but only one team can claim each piece of equipment, so be quick or you might miss out. If a team manages to secure all of the combines or balers, the game ends in a rush. Unless the team is well prepared and has secured a vehicle or piece of equipment during the pick and ban phase. So how do you win? The goal of the game is to score more points than the opposing team. You get points for bales delivered to your barn. To increase the bale value for bales put into the top of the barn via the conveyor belt, you have to sell your grain harvested in the field at your team's silo. When doing so, you not only improve your own multiplier and lower your opponents, but you also influence the speed of the conveyor belt at the barn. But watch out! During the 15 minutes of gameplay, things can change in an instant. Random drops appear at minutes 12, 8, and 4. Each drop can provide your team with a buff or your opponent's team with a debuff, so make sure you choose the drop that best fits your current strategy or goal. Ready to prove your farming prowess in the FSL arena? Then gather your friends and form your team on our website at fsl.giants-software.com. Train hard and compete in one of our tournaments. Have fun and happy farming!